And I'll tell my younger self, do not get in a relationship at such a young age. Like you're still trying to find yourself and you're going to come across so many attractive and wonderful people, whether it's physically, intellectually, there's no need to commit to someone right away or to put a stamp on something that you'll change the next week. <laughs> friends I thought he was cute he's you know Belizean I like me a good Belizean or so you know and um <laughs> so he's my type essentially in looks wise he was super persistent about me being his girlfriend out the gate wow um it was actually you know what it was subtle at first and then <laughs> like you know we were doing the messing around thing and I this was right before I was getting ready to go to school and I was like I'm not really the relationship type but he was like, well, you still have to be my girlfriend. And we were young, 19, foolish, <laughs> foolish. He was creative. And I was at a place where, because I was 19, I wasn't really sure who I was. And like, I think I knew I wanted to be creative and he kind of like matched that. He's also very adventurous, which um, I didn't know I liked but we would go on lots of road trips. So it was like more like an action type of relationship. It was a lot of doing. Yeah. Um, and he also had a huge family, which is something I don't have. So like, I was really, I've always been really attracted to huge families and people who come from like a solid family group. I feel like honestly, he was the, he wasn't the first guy that I love actually, but he was the first real relationship that flourished and I still loved him. There were guys that I loved that I was never in a relationship with. Um, and so it just was all about timing. Um, and the reason why I think we lasted for three years is because I also was trying to make something work with something that had started right before I went to college. I was like, let me commit to this. This was like the first time I really wanted to commit to somebody after, uh, you know, my heart getting broken before. And when I, I would go home every summer. So I'd be like, I want to see this person. I want to be around this person. I want this person to move with me. My whole mentality at that point was like, I want to get married to this person. Um, eventually I had like fell in love with him, wanted to get married. And um, it lasted for three years and then I just changed. Long distance. Okay. Um, long distance, lack of respect. Okay. And then wanting, desiring freedom. We were together for three years um, and that's like, basically my whole college career. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it was a lot of fear of just like taking it to the next level. Like I thought I desired taking it to the next level because we had been together so long. And then also it seemed like he was afraid to move to another state or like to move up um, in the level of commitment. We were toxic. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, like abusive in all kinds of ways, whether it was verbally, physically, I was crazy, he was crazy. And we we're just that young, feisty, like pair of individuals that we like, almost like when you have real good chemistry, it can like really be a match, but it can also, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, really react to each other. And at 19, I definitely didn't know what I was doing with my emotions and I doubt he didn't either. <laughs> I ended it. Okay. Okay. Um, we have been getting in lots of fights and um, petty arguments, things like he would go missing sometimes. Um, and I, I think, what, as a woman, I can't speak for every woman, but for me, we kind of add up things and then we come to a conclusion really late. It's a slow leave. A woman kind of already decides when she's going to leave, it's, but not when, but that she's going to leave. <laughs> you know, a woman decides that she's going to leave. It's just a matter of when. So I think I'd already decided maybe a year in that mm, this is not working. Um, and thankfully for being long distance, it helped me see that. But it was a matter of when, and it was just like that next strike you got one more time, you know, and I know like I'm going to break it off. But I, honestly, when I broke up with him, we were not in a bad place. I did it when we were actually in a good place after Christmas, right? Actually, right before, right after New Year's. What I've taken away, I have a lot of rules. I'm the rule girl. I have lists and rules when it comes to relationships that I'm still actually learning about um, even to this day. Um, in the relationships that I've been in after him. But um, 
I would say I'm very, I have a lot of boundaries. I don't get close to people's families very quickly because that's a tie. You know, it kind of keeps you stuck. And that's a lot of emotional bondage, like, and breakage that you have to do from people that you start to build relationships with that you don't necessarily have to cut off, but you should because it only keeps you in that cycle. So I learned about that. And I would tell my younger self, do not get in a relationship at such a young age. Like you're still trying to find yourself and you're gonna come across so many attractive and wonderful people, whether it's physically, intellectually, there's no need to commit to someone right away or to put a stamp on something that you'll change the next week. <laughs> I got out of a relationship recently. Um, just to realize that, Ty, you need work. You ugly, like, and I, I mean that in the best way possible, but like, you know, you have, I, I came to that point where like, I realized I had to look at myself. And I think it took me being with a good man to know that too. So um, because of that, it really, I feel like I had to realize, oh, you have a commitment issue or you have these issues because of family history. And I don't know what the end of it is, to be honest yet, but it's like a battle between desire to see what your parents have, but also desire not to see. Date, don't rush. It's okay if you don't wanna to commit to somebody. Just Sometimes you're having a good time, you meet each other, there's a connection, but it's okay if it doesn't go anywhere. It's okay if it's just one date and it's over. Um, I'm still learning that lesson to this day. It's like, there's no need to attach so quickly. Oh man, self-love is everything. Because I think self-love, I think when you have a partner, that person mirrors you. And so it's 100, 100. It's not 75, 75. Somebody's always going to have a void that needs to be filled. And sometimes that person has to learn that the only one that can fill it is them. And then God, to be honest, like, um, it took me a long time to learn that. Uh, I'm not saying I'm super old, but I'm glad I did. Uh, that all my own self-love, self-love to me is also fulfillment you know, and understanding and caring. If you don't have that, somebody can't give it. So I feel like human nature is always to see what we can get over on somebody versus seeing what we can give. So if you're not giving to yourself, you're gonna accept what someone brings without having a standard.